Hey Lars, very much appreciate enjoying the videos. Jeff sent me another image. A lot of good images this week. Sends me this image. Look at those things. Um, sh can you please show me how I can take this imported 2D drawing of turning packs for musical instruments to create a 3D model, which I can then modify the dimensions to my requirements? I think that's a great one. So we're going to kind of follow the same what we just did with Patrick's, um, if you don't mind. So let's open up a new document. Let's go to Canvas up here. Let's select the plane, same plane. And I'm just going to take his picture, bringing it in. I'm going to hit OK to it again because I want to calibrate it. I don't know how big your uh, your music packs are, uh, but if we go in here and select one of these, and we may be, I don't know how long they are, man, 50 millimeters. Is that too crazy? Um, so what you can do, you have different op, you have some different ones in here. Um, so let's just do a couple of them. Uh, so one we could do was we could just do a revolve. If they're just round with no thing in it, the easiest thing is just to literally do a, a revolve through here. So if we're doing the first one here to the left, that's probably the fastest one. Create a new sketch on that top plane, and we're going to use Revolve. Anything that is round inside of Fusion, you should probably uh, use Revolve. So I'm just going to draw a line from here down to here. And then I could just start drawing up, zooming in, get it somewhat close. And we could now go up and do like an arc. Maybe do a three-point arc from here to here to here. Do another line going up here. There's maybe also a radius on here. I'm going to skip that. This here actually looks like that that's maybe an arc two. So that would actually probably be a spline again. So select the spline tool, go up here, and then you can kind of adjust on these handles and get that radius somewhat close. There's some more radiuses. I'm just going to finish this one up with, with lines. And then close it up here. Now it's all closed in. We can see that because we kind of get the shading on the center. And now what you should do, uh, Jeff, is that you could now hit D for dimension. And we could now go in here and change these dimensions to kind of whatever you want. Make it fully black, fully define all of them. But the idea is that if I turn the image off for a second, that if we go in to the solids and do the revolve, and we select the straight line here as our axes, we now have that music pack uh, usable. And if we go back into the sketch and hit the sketch, we will now dimension all of these up uh, to something useful. Now, I'm just gonna do another one. Turn the canvas back on. So we did one. I'm just gonna do the other one over here because this one looks a little bit more complex. And knowing these music packs, a lot of them are many times have flat spots on them. So uh, your fingers kind of curve on it, right? So let's do one more. So let's go in here and do this one over here. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to create a center line. So I'm only going to draw half of it right down to about where we want that line. Go to here. Line go up in an angle. And then we have like these... Most of them probably, probably arcs um, and some splines to do these. So it's like two, oops, hang on. Create arc, three point arc. And three point arc is end point, end part. And then this one looks like there might also be one I'm gonna be running into here. One point, one point, end point. Let's do another one. End point, end point here and you could maybe say that this is also this all could be arms i guess it doesn't have you don't have to maybe use the spline tool this one now the next one here it's gonna be it's definitely a you can see this the circle will not fit very well so let's just uh do the spline again just so you see it again end point end point like that and then by using these handles we can kind of push and 
pull and drag that out there. Um, okay, arc, three point arc from here to here, here to here. And then I probably need a line, some lines in here to close this up from there to there. And You see how I didn't get that shadow, sh shadow in there? So I know that somewhere in there is an opening. See, when I can bring these over, now I get that shading. So look for that. All right, so what I want to show here is I'm going to do the same thing as we just did. I would dimension it. Put dimensions, make it totally black. Um, and then we are going to go in and do a uh, go over to solid, do a revolve. And again, the center line is this. Right? Now we're ending up getting... Now we actually have two bodies. Um, turn the drawing off. Turn the first drawing off. We kind of end up with this. And looking at the drawing, it looks like that there's kind of like a flat, like this one has an oval on it. And we probably have an oval on ours too. Normally that is kind of like a, um, a finger thing. So what we could do was we could open up a sketch. Um, and I'm actually going to open it up on this plane over here doesn't really matter. Um, and we could, again, maybe we just decide that that is also a free point arc. And I'm just going to draw maybe an end point here, an end point over here, and kind of give it that curve. This Some people would say that this maybe is bad modeling practices, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then I'm going to close it up, because we always go for enclosed here. And that is now sitting over there. But if I hit a Q and I do that, now we're kind of ending up with, uh, with that music cube. And since we did everything, you want one on the other side, don't you? You can mirror that feature over that plane. Okay. So we have a couple of different uh, options for you there. I hope that was useful, Jeff. I think that's kind of cool, kind of cool looking. Hope that was useful. Like this thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down is okay. Um, and I love your comments. If you haven't subscribed, truly appreciate that.